Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. In my Rangers of Shadowdeep team, I have a conjurer who can summon a bird as a magical spell. I could have used a counter to represent that bird, but I wanted something that was actually a miniature. So I had a little think about what I had access to, and I decided to put together a video showing what I came up with. For this, I'm going to be using a Renedra 25mm base, a very small clipping from a sprue, a little piece of plastic which has been vacuum formed to look like cobblestones, and then I'm using an element from the Sigmarite Mausoleum. In this case, it's a cross off of one of the archways for the mausoleum, with a little bird perched on the top of it. So I'm going to start with this vacuum formed plastic, and I'm just sizing it up against the Renedra 25mm base, because I'm going to cut it down because I don't want the whole base to be cobblestones, but I want a small amount of cobblestones around one side of the base. So I'm just gonna use a sharp craft knife and cut out the bit that I want. I'm then gonna put some glue on it and affix it in place. Making sure I line it up with the edge. I'm then using a drop of plastic glue here and I'm going to affix the small piece of sprue. This is just a random bit of a sprue that I have cut off of um, whatever sprue I had to hand. It may well have been the Blackstone Fortress Ascension sprue. And this is just going to give us some elevation. Here is our element from the Sigmarite Mausoleum. As I said, it is a cross with a little bird perched on the top. Which is perfect for what I want. And I want this to look like a sort of a toppled gravestone or um, a sign that's fallen down from a building and got stuck in the mud. So I'm going to glue it into place and I'm going to glue it so that one end is sitting up on that little piece of sprue. So it's at a bit of a Dutch angle. Because I just think that's going to look a little bit nicer than having it straight. With that done, the building is done, so we're going to undercoat it with Chaos Black and then we're going to start painting using Lead Belcher on the actual cross. One coat may be enough for this, but you may want to do two just to make sure you've got a really good coverage. And then I'm going to wash all of that metal area with Nuln Oil. Not using too much, and I don't want it to pull too much, but enough to bring out all the definition and the detailing around the studding. And then I'm switching to Necron Compound and I'm just going to do a light dry brush over the edges just to brighten it up a little bit, bring some of the details back out of it. Next I'm using Balthazar Gold and I'm going to use this over the wreath and skull motif which is on the front and back of the cross. I just need to be a little bit careful here not to go over the silver stuff because that's already finished. And then with that done I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade as a wash to bring out all of the details. With that done I'm switching to Liberator Gold and I'm going to do a very light dry brush just over that gold area. Just to bring out the detail a little bit more, brighten things up a little bit. Mornfang Brown is going to be used on the base. It's just going to be a, a base color. You probably won't see any of the Mornfang Brown when the base is finished, but it's just in case any uh, areas of paint get missed, you won't see the black base underneath. And then I'm using Mechanica Standard Grey to pick out those cobblestones. Just have to be careful here not to get it on the actual cross, but it doesn't matter if it goes over anything else. That'll all be cleaned up in a moment. Okay, we're going to deal with the bird now. So uh, two coats of Abaddon Black. Just to make sure it's completely covered and um, just to uh, make sure there's no silver showing from any accidental hits with the dry brush from doing the uh, cross earlier on. You don't want the bird to look silver. 
And then I'm going to do a very light dry brush with Eschen Grey, just bringing out the most raised details. I don't want to go too heavy with this because otherwise the bird will look grey rather than black. And then I'm going to use Dawnstone, and this is for a very, very light dry brush on the very topmost parts of the wings, but also over the beak and the talons as well, just to make those stand out a little bit more without making the bird really colourful. With the bird finished, we're going back to the base, and I'm going to apply Sterling Mud, and I'm going to start building this up around that raised area of the base, to make it look like the cross is stuck in the mud. And we're also going to put this sterling mud between the cobblestones that we've got there. That will take a couple of applications. Agrax Earthshade goes over the whole base then. That will just blend the greys and the browns and bring out the rough texture of the sterling mud. For the cross, just to make it look a little bit more weathered, I'm going to apply a little bit of Nihilac Oxide. I don't really like Nihilac Oxide very much, I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm just going to put a little bit of it on the skull and on the wreath, just to uh, weather it up a little bit. With that done, it was just a case of painting Abaddon Black around the rim of the base, and then all the painting was finished, so I hit it with an anti-shine varnish, and then I've got some PVA glue here, and I'm just going to apply a small amount of PVA glue to little patches on the base, and then I'm going to apply some winter static grass, and also a few brown leaves, just to make it a little bit more interesting on the base, and also make it feel a little bit more desolate. And there we go, that's the finished piece. Didn't take very long to do, and um, it's going to be much nicer for me to be able to summon that onto the table when my conjurer casts her spell. But that's it from me for now. I hope you have found the video interesting. If you have liked it, please consider pressing the like button. If you have really liked it, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.